We're now joined on the sports mix by Musselman football head coach Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, your team, hard-fought shootout battle that unfortunately comes out on a losing side of things, 49-35 to Cabell Midland. What were your thoughts about that game? Yeah, man, uh, gut-wrenching, honestly. Do you, do you guys know any details about the game? Uh, other than it sport? was really back and forth, and then late, I believe it was Cabell Midland, scored those uh, final two touchdowns. Yeah, we had a. I mean, we had a. We had an eight-point lead, and the ball was four minutes left, and and they scored three touchdowns in the last four minutes. So, I mean, gut wrenching, man. To 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 feel like, you know, to we called timeout with four minutes left, had an eight-point lead, and said, hey, uh, you know, we get two first downs, we win the game, and then unfortunately, out of every play in the game, our, our worst play of the game was our first down play. That was our or uh, we only had two negative plays all game, and that was that was one of our negative plays. So uh, that that really really hurt us. So yeah, man, it's gut wrenching. Um, you know, it, it 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 stinks to lose that way when you when you fight so hard and you really feel like you play so well. Uh, just you know, to not not to be in the in winning end of things. Obviously, I don't think you're going to necessarily look at it this way, but from a positive perspective, your team was for the first time this year in position and in a battle late in a game. How do you build on that moving forward? Yeah, I mean, we, we were, uh, you know, we were kind of in a similar situation at Loudoun Valley. Loudoun Valley was 28-21 in the fourth quarter. So, you know, we, we'd kind of been there before. But, uh, yeah, you know, like you said, it, it's positive. You know, we did, we did a ton of positive things on both sides of the ball. Uh, offensively and defensively, you know, we did a lot of really good things, and even special team wise, um, you know, we had a couple really good plays special team wise. So, you know, we did we did a bunch of things well. Um, you know, we're we're improving. Uh, you know, just to, just to watch us, we're kind of we're kind of growing up a little bit. We're kind of getting used to to Friday night football a little bit. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with the fact that you know we're 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 making growth and and we're playing really hard. Um, you know, as frustrating as the loss was, you know, you look at the positives of things, and I'm really proud of, of what our kids and what they're able to do. Any other thoughts or any other details, Shaw, from that game, looking back at it now? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. I, I think that's part of part of having an inexperienced team a little bit is that, you know, you gotta you have to kind of learn – learn to be in those situations you know we just didn't make plays late but uh i don't know I'm, I'm i'm so proud of our kids i'm so proud of the effort and how hard that they played um you know just just super proud of, of everything that they've done so far coach hedgesville this week it's always a fun matchup for you and for uh just muscleman and hedgesville great rivalry it's been around for a long time so uh, looking at them, though, so far they they're on a four game losing streak, but uh, obviously uh, another good challenge, another EPAC team. So, what are you seeing from them so far this season? Yeah, you know, you mentioned the rivalry. Uh, it's been we've been playing since 1950, so it's the longest rivalry uh, in in our in our conference. So, um, yeah, it's it's you know it's it's a good matchup. It's always a good matchup. You know, it's always um, it's always always exciting. Um, to, to play to play any EPAC game, but uh, yeah, you know they they they've done some good things this year. Coach, Coach Faircloth does a good job with them. Um, you know they won a couple games early, and then they've been competitive. Um, you know they played Jefferson tight for a while. They played Washington tight for a while, so they've been competitive um, in a lot of games as well. So uh, you know excited, you know excited just to play a conference game um, and to be back at home. And on top of that, within the rivalry, you guys have pretty much owned it uh the past decade and a half now what what is the feel though for uh this year's matchup yeah you know you you don't really that's something you don't really talk to the kids about or you really don't harp on you know just because you know a lot of kids see kind of what's in front of them right now you know they they really don't pay attention a lot of you know what's happened five years ago or, or shoot maybe even last year um really to that effect you know they they care about this year and kind of what's ahead of them right now but uh yeah you know we're 
we're excited, um, you know, hoping we can come out and, and, and play play tough and continue to kind of grow uh, throughout the season. You know, that's one of the things that we want to do is just continue to get better uh, week after week, and we saw that last week, and hopefully, um, hopefully we can get better again this week. Coach, uh, what are you seeing from them on film? I know they've changed some things up since the Martinsburg game, so what kind of stands out to you about Hedgesville in terms of the things they've changed and uh, – how does that provide kind of a challenge knowing that they've ran a lot of different things throughout the season? Yeah, yeah, they have. Um, you know, that's, that's a good question. You're exactly right. They've done some – they've ran some power game stuff, some power run game stuff. Uh, they've ran some spread stuff. You know, they, they've done some different things. So, you know, they're difficult to prepare for, and, and they're good at what they do. Uh, they got a couple really good athletes. they got a good quarterback. Um, you know, defensively, they'll get after you and bring pressure. So, uh, you know, they they present a lot of problems just because they're kind of unique uh, in what they do. So you got to kind of really uh, be, be prepared for what they're going to give you and be fundamentally sound in what we do. On your side of things at this point in the year, are you thinking about, I guess, making any changes? Or did you make any changes from – prior with that Martinsburg matchup into last week's matchup against Cabell Midland that you liked or didn't like? No, we haven't changed. I mean, I'll be honest with you. We haven't really changed. I mean, we, we've made some mighty minor tweaks and changes. I think every team does that as, as the year goes on, you kind of figure out what, what your kids are good at, um, you know, and when, what you can do, what you're maybe doing better than some other things, but no, we have not changed. I mean, we've been doing the same thing from um, really we, we started having some flex days late May, early June, um, you know, and now sitting here at October, we've been doing a lot of the same thing. So it's just kind of fine-tuning what we're doing good at. I mean, I, I think you saw that a little bit last week. Um, you know, we, we, we just kind of tweak some things and say, hey, maybe we could do this better. Maybe we could do that better. Maybe we could change this. But everything's pretty much the same. Um, and, you know, you really kind of saw that take off a little bit last week. Uh, and, you know, we, we hope to continue to get better. Um, at what we're doing coach uh we've mentioned it before in years past but let's just talk a little bit about the rivalry and and what it means Mm -hmm. to you and your connection yeah um you know I, i i played in this game as a player um on the on the on the blue and gold side not on the not on the green and white side so um you know being a you know uh being a graduate from hedgeville you know i've been on that side of the things i've been on 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 uh, on that side, and that matched up. You know, now being a coach, I've been um, on it too. You know, when I was a when I was a player, um, you know, we had some tight games against them, and then you know, since I've been a coach, we've had some really memorable tight games against them as well. So, you know, I I, I think it's neat. I think I think um, you know, I think kind of history of the football football on it, and you know, recently it's it's you know Martinsburg, Martinsburg, Martinsburg. They've been the best team, obviously, in the entire state of, of West Virginia. But you know. When you look at that the, at the rivalry in the history, I, I think it's really interesting just because you know Muskegon and Hedgeville years and years ago kind of came up together a little bit. They were both small schools, um, you know, and then kind of rose up to the to the Triple A level and now into the Quad A level. Um, and that rivalry's really been going on for a long time. So you know, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm I'm kind of big in the in the history of things and looking at stuff like that. So you know, it's it's pretty neat when you're sitting here in 2024 talking about playing a team that you've been playing every year since 1950. I think that's pretty neat just to be kind of, um, you know, in that history book on that rivalry. Do you have maybe a, a favorite moment in the rivalry that you've been a part of? Oh, man, it, it's – I don't know. Um, that's a really good – that's a really good question. Um that's a really good question. Um, man, uh, I don't know. You kind of stumped me right there. Um, I'd say in, in 2018, the year we made the state semifinals, they were really good too. Um, we played them and it was a 12, seven game. That was a, that was a really exciting one. Uh, that was a, that was a really exciting game. My first year as head coach, um, we played Hedgesville at Spring Mills because it was raining. There was a huge storm, and it was raining, and both fields were super muddy, um, which I guess we wouldn't have that problem now. But we played, you know, both having turf. But we played them at Spring Mills, um, and, and Trayvon Wesco blew his knee out that game, and and um, we had to make a lot of adjustments, and, and you know, we're kind of kind of just hanging hanging 
off the edge there, just kind of throwing stuff at a dartboard, and we ended up beating them. That was a pretty exciting game um, just because there was a lot of emotion because you lose your – you know, your stud player, and you have to find a way to beat them. So those are two that kind of um, pop out to me a little bit, just, you know, exciting games that we've had with them. Before we get to the fun question, I guess, uh, what will it take this Friday night to make it a uh, memorable and positive one for the entire community on the Muscleman side of things to remember? Yeah, just you know, we we just want to keep up, keep coming out and keep keep getting better. You know, obviously, you know, obviously the the cliche answer would be you know you want to win. Um, you know, especially for us, we're still in search of that first one. But um, you know, more than anything, I you know even this past Friday night against Cabell Midland, you know, super bum we lost, but um, I'm really proud just of the growth and how you can see our kids getting better. So that's my big thing is I want to see our kids our kids stay together our kids work hard and our kids continue to to get better week in and week out all right coach any other thoughts if not we'll do the fun question wrap things up no i don't think so nope i think that's about it all right fun question for this week is uh (laughs) if you could pick one person dead or alive to uh meet who would it be and why Oh man, you guys always put me on spot with these questions. Because right when we hang up, I'm going to think of something, something or somebody better. Um, I don't know, man. Um, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I mean, I. I'd want to meet like Michael Jordan probably just because, you know, that's one of the greatest athletes of all time. You know, I, I think, I think I'd want to meet him. Um, oh man. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe Nick Saban too. Nick Saban would be a good one. I'd love to, I'd love to just sit down and just talk to him um, and just kind of pick his brain on some stuff. I don't know. Those are, those are two that popped in my head like right away. I'll probably think of somebody better later. I think Saban's a great choice. Yeah, he's so yeah. fun on game day if you've been watching but i know i don't you know i i don't watch a lot yeah i don't well, usually my sons have games on saturday morning so I, I i haven't watched game day a single time this year but yeah i've heard i've heard him and mcafee's interactions are, are pretty are pretty funny yeah i think that's a good one for a football coach yeah yeah, yeah saving all right coach thomas thank you yeah thanks guys i appreciate you all guys i appreciate